Okay, um, so once you get the shape you want, and by the way, I, I really thought about function with mine a little bit. I want to use it for a pencil holder. So I actually could have made mine taller, but I chose not to because I don't, I want the pen to be able to stick out the top. And I also chose to make the base a little wider, knowing that it has to be something that's not going to just topple over. The one other thing important to make sure that the rim is even. So when you look down on it, um, when you look across it, you want to make sure that your rim is even because once you start this gluing process, it's stuck. Um, we're going to do three parts glue to one part water. So you could measure that. You should always shake your glue before you start. My mouth's a little watery. Um, so three parts glue to one part water. I'm just going to guesstimate. That's like one, two, like three little glugs of glue. And then I'm going to add what I would equate one of those glugs. And that first bit was watery, so I might do a little less. I'm just going to do like a little. That to me seems like about the same amount. So three to one, um, you can measure it. Use a bottle cap, use a tablespoon or a spoon you eat out of and then wash it. And then you want to mix this really well so that you create what we call our kind of glue paste. All I'm gonna do is paint a layer of this glue all over my surface. And I'm gonna try to get it in all the nooks and crannies, all the nooks and crannies. And you would do this with a paintbrush or you could do it with your fingers. You could just rub it in there with your fingers and maybe use a spoon or something like that. Um, I suggest do the whole inside, let it dry, and then you could do the outside and let it dry like this and that would allow me to also do the base. So you wanna cover the entire thing with glue to solidify your shape. And if you don't wanna do that, if you wanna be able to change the shape, so I could still use this without gluing it. And then let's say I wanna start using it for jewelry, then um, I would not glue it and I could always bring it back to its original shape and I could create um, some other cool um, design. So you don't have to glue it. It could be something that is like a living piece of art that continues to change.